Hi guys, Alec Pierce for Alec Pierce Scuba. We got a good one today. Listen, uh, this is what's called a hookah. A couple of you guys have asked about how you would set up a surface supply, air supply, surface supply. That's what it's called. Hookah is just a, a fancy term to describe surface supply. And by surface supply, what I mean is this. You're underwater, breathing from a regulator, but your air supply is on the surface. Yes, it could be on a boat. Could be on a dock, could be on shore, the pool deck. The air supply is on the surface. You are underwater. That's surface supply. Well, how do you do? Well, let's talk about why would you do that? Why would you do that? Well, uh, I know I know a lot of people who are in the business of, of using scuba. They're commercial divers, if you like. Uh, let me get some examples. Uh, there may be the guys that wash boats. They they clean boat bottoms. Um, Pool repairmen, yeah, a lot of them use this type of a system. Because what you can do is you can go down, you can stay underwater for a long period of time, longer than a normal scuba diver would, as an example. You can stay down for a long time while you're finishing the job, you're not too deep, remember. And you don't have to carry a tank on your back. That's right. You can just be in your bathing suit, maybe a wetsuit, a couple of weights, mask, fins, if you need, even need fins, and you're underwater cleaning the boat, fixing the pool or fixing a dock, whatever you're doing. You have no tank on your back. You have a regulator in your mouth. That's it. And you have a long hose that runs up to an air supply. So that's one reason. It just makes it easier and more enjoyable. Now, there's another reason as well, which a lot of even people who are in surface supply often don't think about. And the other reason is that you can have unlimited air. That's right. When you're underwater on scuba, typically you have a tank on your back. And that tank is typically an 80 cubic foot. It could be 100, it could be 120, and so on. Well, if you're using surface supply, you could have unlimited air. Because you could have several tanks that are linked together. So you could have a couple of 300 cubic feet. If you get a large, what's called a cascade style, high volume tank, it could be, well, the typical high volume tank is 420 cubic feet, right? And you can have several of those hooked together. So again, technically, there's no limit to how much air you could have. I suppose you could even hook it up to a compressor. There's a company in Florida called Brownies, Brownies Third Lung. And they have a neat surface supply system where, it, where it's a small compressor. Uh, they have battery powered ones and 110 volt. Most of them are gasoline powered and they sit on the boat the dock, the shore. They even have some that, are, that sit in a, in a tube, an inflatable tube. And then there's a line that runs down to the diver. That's surface supply. But for most of us, uh, and they're not inexpensive. For most of us, if you have some reason to either try or to use surface supply hookah, it's very, very easy. Very easy. So you guys had asked and commented about it. Let me explain how easy it is. First of all, here's what you need. You need to get a regulator. You still need to have a regulator. You have to have a first stage, which goes on to the tank or tanks, whatever you're using on the surface, a first stage. That reduces the tank pressure, high pressure, down to intermediate pressure, intermediate pressure. And then you have to have a hose anywhere from 27 inches long. That's the typical length of a regular 27 inches to, I made one for 200 feet. I had a special project once and I wanted to dive on a shipwreck and, and do something special on the shipwreck. And the shipwreck was 100 feet deep, so I made a, a, a hookah that was 200 feet long. You can have as long as you want, quite frankly. And you need a second stage because this goes in your mouth to allow you to breathe. That's all you need, a regulator. It can be your own regulator or maybe you want to get an inexpensive, it doesn't have to be a high quality regulator. Generally, you're not diving deep. My dive on that shipwreck to 100 feet was highly unusual. Most surface supply is relatively shallow. So you don't have to have a high quality regulator. Maybe you have a second regulator or you can pick up a regulator pretty cheaply at your local dive store or, or even used as long as it's in good shape and is working well, it doesn't matter. So here's how you do it. So you've got your regulator. Now you notice there's no pressure gauge. There's no safe second on this. There's none of that stuff. Because you're not going to take the first stage with you, so there's no point having it on there, is it? There's no point having a second, a safe second or a BC inflate hose or a pressure gauge on the first stage if you're going to leave it on the surface. You're going down without it, right? So you just need a regulator. I guess first stage, hose, and second stage. So the first thing you do is you take off the second stage, hose and second stage. So now you have a first stage, it's easy, and you have a second stage with a hose. That's it. Now all you need to do is connect the two with the hose whatever length you need for your job. First step is get the hose. Where do you get the hose? Harbor Freight, Home Depot. It's just standard half inch 
airline hose. The same type of hose that is used in the service station to pump up your tires, that is used by contractors and their air hammers and so on. Same type of hose. And you can buy that hose usually in 25 foot lengths. You can get it in 50 foot lengths. You can even buy 100 foot lengths. But you might, you might find it easier to use 25 foot lengths and splice them together. It takes a very, very simple $5 fitting to splice them together. So you could have two or three 25s if you need that much, or a 125, and then you have some versatility, whatever. The hose that I have here is just 25 feet. So you've got this and this and your 25 foot hose. What do you have to do? Well, the first thing you have to do is you have to make this fitting, which is unique to scuba largely, and you have to get this little adapter. And I'm going to have Kevin post the number of these adapters. There's two adapters you need, two of them in total. And, and you have to have these adapters. You can get these from a company called Trident. Well, actually, that's not true. You can't get them, but any local dive store, any dive store can order these from Trident. Trident Diving Supplies, and Kevin's going to put the information for these two adapters. Oh, pardon me. So, you got this adapter, and your hose fits into it. Now, what you've done is you've changed that unique regulator thread into standard one quarter inch NPT, national pipe thread. Everything to do with airline hoses, whether you get it at Harbor Freight or Home Depot, wherever you get it, everything is NPT. So now you can make this fit onto all those airline hoses. Just that easy. Similarly, on the other end, on the first stage end, you need an adapter because the port the low pressure port on the first stage also has to be changed to NPT, National Pipe Thread. So there's another adapter. It's a different adapter. The numbers are coming that you put on. So now I've changed this to NPT. So all we need to do now is get our airline any length we want and connect the two. Here's what it looks like. <clears throat> right there. I drop the hose. See, there's that special adapter. Now I had to use another piece that I picked up at Home Depot to put the airline hose in. The airline hose is a male thread. I had to put a female adapter on and then the adapter from the regulator goes into that. So there's that end and the other end has the other special adapter I put on there. Let me rig this up for you. I'll show you what happens. So now what you will do is you'll take your first stage and you're going to mount your first stage onto your tank. Just that easy. <clears throat> and then your special adapter goes right into that first stage. I've already got it on here. Let me take this one out. And that's easy to do. So now you have the same first stage, same second stage. The only thing that's changed is you got 25 feet of hose or more, whatever you want. 25 feet of hose in between. It's just that simple. Now you put it onto your tank. <clears throat> Pardon me, turn on the air. Let's go diving. You see, there's no difference. It's just a first stage, second stage, and a hose. So the hose is longer, big deal. In this case, a lot longer. Anyway, there you go, guys. Surface supply. It's quite easy. Hookah. It's quite easy. Regulator, first, second stage, and a long hose. Hook them up. And here are the numbers of those adapters for you. I hope that helped a little bit, answer some of your questions, and we'll talk to you again soon. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips.